I'm Deep Mahaman and you're watching The Redman TV. Hello, welcome to The Redman TV on the 7th of January. It's a transfer daily thing. Uh, yeah, the window closes in a few weeks. We thought we'd give you every little bit of Liverpool rumour news and general, general transfer bollocks between now and then. So... First, we've got three stories to, to cover this this uh, on this fine day. The first is surrounding a player coming back, and that is Thiago Elori. Uh, the second is involving a player coming back, that's Shea Ojo. And the third is involving a player potentially coming in on loan, and that's Neven Subotic. But we'll start with Thiago Elori. Uh, we discussed it on the Transfer Weekly show this week that we thought that was a likely possibility that Liverpool would try to find a, 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 an amicable solution with Aston Villa to get the player to, to cancel the loan and come back. Uh, so it's funny, the, the reading of it can we go can go two ways. That one Liverpool, you know, need him back because we're at really short on centre halves, and the other one was that Villa just be like, yeah, please, any chance you can have him back? Because obviously <clears throat> they paid a fee uh, for the year long loan, reported with an option to buy at the end. So that's kind of pretty much like saying, yeah, you know what, we, we don't want him. He's, he's essentially your player. Um, so, yeah, interesting set of circumstances. I think uh, Chris just made, made mention of the fact that the Premier League rules tend to mean that you actually can't get those players back, normally speaking, but clearly Villa don't want him. They've had no intention of using him, which is a shame because, um, you know, he had a very good, I think, was, was it under 20s, under 21 tournament in the summer, reportedly, got a bit unlucky with injuries just after that. Never got a chance at Liverpool over the summer. Got out on loan to change him. Never really got a chance under the manager that brought him in. Change of manager, Remy Gard's not interested. Fine, look, he's, he's clearly uh, he's a player, he's an asset. If I don't, a Villa were never going to take up the option to buy him anyway. We might as well have him back. See what we can do within a week. And if Klopp can make something of him, great. And if he can't, then you know we sell him on in the summer anyway. That's fine by me. But ultimately, he is an actual centre-half, so... Whether he's whether he's amazing or whether he's good enough for Liverpool is kind of irrelevant right now because we actually need someone whose natural position is to play at centre back. So having him back and having him available at least for a few weeks, you know, January transfer window, there exists the possibility you can have a good game, one or two decent games, and someone might come in and go, yeah, we like the look of him. We'll either take him on loan or we'll buy him. So I think it's kind of win-win for Liverpool. Uh, the other one, Shea Ojo coming back from his loan at Wolves. I'm excited by this. Now, he's not really done... He's not been gone and been one of the best players in the championship. I think he, we've seen signs of. I think he's he's made seventeen appearances. I, I, I might that might be slightly off. I think he's only made five starts out of that, so not quite been at the level maybe we hope for him. But he's clearly a, a very promising kid. He's got a couple of goals as well, which is encouraging. Have him back in. We, we are short in talent, particularly with the cup game coming up at the weekend. Ryan Kent's back as well. I would expect both of them to be involved even on even in, around in and around the bench, if not necessarily starting the game. But that's exciting for me because I want I'd rather these if we've got the option to play them, let's let's have them and let's play them. And you can sort another loan out for them again toward the end of the month if the injuries start to clear themselves up a little bit. Uh, the most interesting one, of course, is uh, Nevin Subotic, uh, Borussia Dortmund. Serbian international centre half. Obviously, he knows someone that Jurgen Klopp knows very, very well. It's, I think, this is a very, very shrewd move um, from uh, potentially to get him in on loan because you don't want to go out and buy someone unless they're going to absolutely improve your first team and they're going to be a long-term option for for the centre for uh, centre back position for Liverpool. So, like you know, Joel Matip is an example. We talked about him yesterday. Link with him, he looks like somebody who would be a first team regular for Liverpool. Subotic could potentially be that, but you know, I get the feeling he's not right there at the top, top, top class. In fact, he's, not, he's only played one game for Borussia Dortmund this season. Says that he's fallen a little bit foul of that. A loan sign makes perfect sense to me, and particularly someone who's experienced. He's got 36, um, I think he's got 30, oh no, sorry, he played 36 games for Dortmund last season. Only played one so far this season. He's got 36 international caps for Sabres. <laughs> Can we cheat, Chief? Um, and yeah, uh, just as a random bit of information, he played for the USA under seventeens, under twenties. There you go, facts. Um, but no, that feels like a, a very, very shrewd move. We can get him until the end of the season. Hey, li listen, if he fits and he does an exceptional job for us, buy him in the summer by all means. But I don't think there's any need right now to spend a load of money or, or and or waste a load of money when we just need bodies. And the fact of the matter is, by the end of the month, hopefully most of these injury problems will have cleared up, and you don't know end up with. 
player who's not necessarily miles better than what you've got, but maybe he is. Let me know your thoughts on him on him in the comments below. If you've seen a lot of Dortmund in years gone by, we know Klopp took him from Mainz um, through to Dortmund and onwards, so there's a, a great connection. He's clearly got a good spirit if he's able to take himself up through the levels and perform at the highest level as well. So I'd, I have not seen anything of, anything of him, but I think he fits the mould for what we're looking for in the short term right now. But again, your thoughts, please, in the comments below. Who else do you think Liverpool should be targeting? Do you think there's better targets out there? Let me know that as well. Give this video a thumbs up. What's your thoughts on Thiago Alori? A lot of love for Alori in a very general sense among the, among the Liverpool fan base. Are you glad that he's going to be potentially given an opportunity to shine at Liverpool, which we simply haven't seen since we bought him? Again, comments below. Uh, do check out the Transfer Weekly show on the RedmenTV.com. We discuss Liverpool's deepening defensive crisis, a little bit more about the options available to us, and the kind of players that we feel clubs should be targeting in general, what attributes Liverpool players will need. And we've done a lot, actually. Joe Allen, there's a separate story I'm not going to cover now, but he's talked about his place being, you know, he's fighting for his place in the minute. did a lot of talk about Joe Allen, um, particularly in the final word show after his great performance against Stoke. So check both of those shows out. Completely free for a month and just £2 a month after that, if you like it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Ta -da. Back one. <laughs> the back one. Are you a uh, PlayStation or Xbox? Xbox, to be fair, yeah. And what about um, Bit of, uh, Xbox? Are you a sound of them? Sure, then you can change yeah, your mind. Now and again, different. Oh, yeah, you like to play away from home as well, do you? Yeah. <laughs>